Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So looking at the US 30, we've had a fantastic run yesterday, smashing up through potential resistance at 18,112. Bullish engulfing pattern above both moving averages. Uh, and we've got a bullish crossover there in the MACD and we still show plenty of room for maneuver with the RSI and the slow stochastic right there. And um, the picture is the same right across the board, the Germany 30 and UK 100 all up. And the US dollar finally taking the back seat as it looks like we might just get one interest rate hike this year, not two, um, with most bonds still pricing in, not September, but a December um, hike in the US. So moving on to the UK 100, uh, we managed to get that bounce. We were down as low as 66.26 earlier on in the session, only to reverse course um, as the American markets began to tick up. There was actually rumours towards the end of last last night that a German newspaper had reported that there was going to be a debt extension till the end of the year for Greece. Um, but as far as I'm aware, that's be, that's not been confirmed. And uh, Angela Merkel and a number of other partners in the um, in the eurozone have come out and said that's just not the case, and that Greece is in fact just down to the last two weeks. It'd be interesting to see how that pans out. But certainly, most global equity market is moving higher on the rumour. And um, we have been lower actually in the UK 100, running about that 66, 86 level, but it had a short term bounce. Now, the formation of this candle is indicative of the fact there's still selling pressure right there, but uh, it's still very, very early on in the session, and um, the UK stock market has not actually officially opened yet. So, moving on to Japan 25, uh, staying above 20,087. 20, a slight hammer formation uh, yesterday, bouncing off that 55 period SMA on the right side of 20,087. Uh, just as the Bank of Japan, Governor Kuroda, came out with a upbeat assessment of the Japanese economy, um, talked up the yen a little bit, and that's why you're seeing dollar yen around um, about 123. That obviously is quite far away from that 124 and change it hit earlier on in the week, uh, and that's why you're just getting that little bit of positive momentum in Japan 25. Chinese stock market is getting smashed, they were down about 3% earlier on in the session, still very volatile, as many traders are just saying, where's the stimulus? Uh, massively overvalued, hugely impacted by a, 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 a huge retail traders' audience, all leveraged up to the hill. It will probably end in tears at some point. Um, but people just having complete faith in the Chinese government that they're going to sort things out and that they won't let things get too bad, so they just keep buying. So it'll be kind of interesting to see that pans out. So moving on to dollar yen, you can just see the kind of the volatility that we've had with this kind of graveyard doji formation. We had on Wednesday, a Wednesday sell off again yesterday, off the session lows, and we're just not really doing a huge amount so far this morning. But 121.87 is the next potential support. The other technicals are relatively neutral. Moving on to West Texas crude. Uh, with the drop in the dollar, crude's not really getting a huge uh, net positive out of this. Floating around, consolidating around 59.50, uh, and this level's been in play for a while. Not much else to report here, to be honest. It's getting a little bit boring on West Texas crude. Moving on to gold, though. Gold's uh, had a great day. Obviously, as the kind of news begins to filter in, that yeah, there will be a rate hike this year, but the rate of trajectory of future increases are likely to be scaled back. So um, I, think, I think two rate hikes in quick succession were priced in and now they're obviously a little bit more of a gap between those aspects there so that's helping to push gold up I think the upside is really really limited to be fair because they're still going to raise interest rates at some point but uh, probably closer closer that we get to 12 18 um, it'll be telling to see if we're going to get any move forward I think it's already telling today that even though we had an incredibly bullish candle yesterday breaking above both moving averages that has failed to deliver so far later on today so <coughs> Moving on to euro dollar, uh, grinding higher, you could arguably say it's a nice trend, uh, could be a ascending triangle formation, usually a continuation pattern, but we're not a million miles away from there right now. In fact, let's just go ahead and just draw these details on here. That could be what we're, what we're seeing, and we're going to get a break of 114.66 or a break below this trend line and retarget 1.11. And the great news about a symmetrical triangle, about an ascending triangle formation, is to break one direction or the other. Uh, so one spot 1466. If that's broken, it opens up one spot 1642. And certainly the euro's not been slowed down by all this talk of Greece defaulting on debt, etc., etc. So looking good. One thing that's still looking good, but uh, maybe it's actually flatlining. Looking at the, at the daily intervals, as cable. So. I think interest is switched now from the US to the UK if you're trading FX uh, about the next future rate hike because a lot of macro data coming out of the US, uh, coming out of the UK, sorry, is uh, fairly positive. This massive game we've seen right here, have a look at your mortgage interest rates because I'm sure if you were shopping around for a deal right now, they're probably a little bit more expensive than they would have been there just last week. So um, one spot 59 has been touched. That actually poked its head above there last night. 162.65 is the next potential support. 
and uh, basically as long as the UK data continues to come in strong and the economy seems to be chugging along relatively okay, not stellar mind you, but still okay, um, I think you'll hear more interest rate talk and chatter over the next couple of weeks and months. And um, certainly uh, people aren't expecting anything before the US raises rates, but um, I think it's interesting that you've had this massive increase in the value of the sterling against a huge basket of currencies and uh, cable is where a lot of people will be looking right now because of, because of the strength of that trend. So economic data wise you've got UK public finances so that's obviously going to be good if you're trading uh, cable not really that exciting. Uh, head on to Monday you've got Eurozone CPI and existing home sales in the US and then Tuesday you've got a whole host of PMI data for market um, where you've got uh, Chinese data, German, Eurozone and durable goods and that is obviously going to be quite an important one for your dollar and cable as well um, because it's a big, a big factor in how the US economy will be doing. So as ever guys keep you around the chart forum make insights part of the layer going forward and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.